found on campus and another shutting down after threats were made to it. Good evening, I'm Michael Rinker. And I'm Jessica Gauthier. Tonight, two Wiregrass High Schools faced with security threats. Enterprise going on lockdown just this morning. And multiple students have been taken, were taken into custody after police recovered a large amount of ammo in one of their backpacks. WDHN's Aaron Dixon has been following this story throughout the day and joins us now live from outside Enterprise High School with the latest, Aaron. Michael and Jessica, this threat at Enterprise High School and Enterprise Career and Technology Center comes just one day after the deadly school shooting just outside of Atlanta killed four people. So when parents around this area heard of this lockdown, the first thing they wanted to do was get their lay their eyes on their kids to make sure they were safe. Hundreds of parents entering the school to check out their child following a school wide lockdown. As a parent, you want your child to be safe and so I felt the need to come get them from school. It's nothing like putting your eyes on your kids to make sure they're safe and, and just kind of making sure that they feel secure in that in this moment. Two enterprise schools put on lockdown for over an hour after a student made police aware of a large bag of gun ammo in a student's backpack, leaving police the unknown of whether or not a gun was also on the campus. If it means that we lock and hold down until these unknowns are known, then so be it. We will all do what we must to ensure that the school system remains safe for our children to learn. A gun was not found and the lockdown was lifted, which prompted several parents to rush to the school after their child asked to be checked out. Your child's safety is the number one priority as a parent. Until you actually see your child, have hands on your child to make sure that you know that they're okay, then that's, you know, mainly what why a parent would want to come up here, which is why I came up here. Three students were arrested and questioned. They were later released, and it does not appear that they will face any charges. We have scoured the books. I talked to our coordinating agency, the Office of Prosecution Services. I talked to the Attorney General's office. Based upon the facts and circumstances that we know them right now, I am not aware of a criminal charge that is applicable for merely carrying ammunition regardless of where that ammunition was located. However, they will face disciplinary action from the high school. Officials in the case say that the speed in which law enforcement responded and the student who alerted police played a big part in preventing a possible tragedy. One thing I stress to the teachers every year is about building relationships with all of our kids. So when situations do arise, they're comfortable coming to an adult, whether it's an SRO or a teacher or an administrator, because that's how we're going to find out most most things. Somebody's going to report it to us. As as far as safety at the school, officials say they have active steps in place, such as student resource officers on each campus and a dog that specializes in finding explosives and firearms. But they also have other safety precautions that they cannot release to the public. We're live in Enterprise. Aaron Dixon, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.